Hi, my name is Toby Chapman and I am the recipient of the Curatorial Development Initiative uh, through the organisation NABA. I think especially in Sydney and in Australia at large as well, there's very few opportunities for emerging curators, especially when you're just starting out. I think this grant is an incredible way for young curators and emerging curators to be teamed or allied with larger organisations. I'll be working um, with Abigail Moncrief, the project director of C3 West, uh, for one whole year. Um, during that time, I'll be working on a number of different projects with C3 West, um, including artist uh, Jean de Van Heijswijk, Sylvie Blocher, uh, and some local Australian artists as well. Uh, when I first heard the good news, I obviously was very grateful um, and relieved as well. Uh, I think both Abby and I put a lot of work into this application, and so it was a great satisfaction to get some return on that as well. Um, but especially grateful to the organisation and NAVA for making um, a situation like this possible. I'm Abigail Moncrief, C3 West Project Coordinator. I'm really looking forward to working with Toby. I only considered the other day actually. I, I, I realised, oh wow, this is something that I'll be doing for the next year of my life. Mm. But it's incredibly exciting at the same time. Personally, I'm really excited about working with Abby because I think she's got a very unique way of um, producing relationships with artists and executing these projects as well. I think what interests me so much about the C3 West project is it's almost perfectly aligned with my curatorial vision already. Uh, the project that I um, proposed and developed for this mentorship, it's with C3 West, um, which is an organisation that kind of um, unifies three different elements. So it's culture, commerce, and community um, focused specifically in Western Sydney. It's really interesting working on a C3 West project because you're communicating across all kind of levels of stakeholders, community, um, general public, m many of whom have had no experience of contemporary art before. And so it's quite a um, dynamic and challenging kind of way to produce artworks, but ultimately very satisfying. Um, I think because C3 West is an ongoing project, um, there's much more capacity for long-term engagement with the arts. Um, it's not so much about the production of individual exhibitions as it is about an, a, a genuine engagement with audiences. And I think um, it, it develops audience that extend beyond individual projects. And it really asks questions of communities and individuals to reconsider the way that they engage with the world, the way they engage with culture as well. That's extremely important to me as a young curator, especially in Sydney, where kind of the cultural debates seem to be so heated. Um, and you ask yourself why the audience isn't really ever brought to this conversation sometimes. I see an ongoing dialogue as kind of the most essential part to curating or producing for the arts. So it's not so much just about collection or collating or creating a context for work, but really allowing for a dialogue to occur. I think the major benefit um, of this curatorial development for me and working with Abby as part of C3 West is that I get experience across the board. So while it is located at the Museum of Contemporary Art, the strong connections with other institutions such as Casula Powerhouse, Campbelltown and Penrith means that I'm getting a really diverse and broad range of experiences. Institutions can benefit from um, mentoring young curators just as much as a young curator can benefit from that wealth of knowledge. I think there's a cross-pollination that's really um, at the heart of these kind of engagements. Mm -hmm.